by Shalom, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. It's your brother Kasha Kuala coming back at you with another lesson. Uh, we have a job to do, so teach. All right, this is John chapter 21 and 15. It says, So <clears throat> when they dine, Yahweh Shai saith unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me more than these? Saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto them, unto him, Feed my lambs. Verse 16. He saith unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? He, sa uh, he saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Verse 17 says, he said un <clears throat> unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, feed my sheep. All right. So what? We have to feed the sheep. Continue teaching. Yahweh Shai Physically is not here. All right. So we have to continue teaching. All right. Matter of fact. It's, uh, Timothy. Uh, I'll read both of these. First Timothy 3 and 2 says a bishop must be blameless, a husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality and apt to teach. It says second Timothy 2 and 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, meaning no contention, all right, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, and patient. Let's see if they have the word apt. Let's see. Strong's G, 1317. Didactic says the doctor cos apt and skillful in teaching we have to master the craft of teaching okay <clears throat> teach the word teach it says show or explain to someone how to do something simple we have to show and explain to people the truth but primarily the elect 144 which are the sheep that Yahweh Shai was speaking about okay so we have to be apt to teach we have to master the art or strive for the mastery of teaching. All hell hasn't broke through, uh, broke loose yet. The internet ain't shut down yet. We still have abilities to go out to the highways and byways, do God speeds, all those things, link up with bros, do lessons, upload them on YouTube. We still have to be in the spirit of teaching. Our jobs have not made that change yet. All right. Jeremiah 16 and 16 says, Behold, I will send for many fishers. At the moment, we are still fishermen. We're coming to the uh, latter end of being fishermen. Of course, you can even read the, the Gospels. When he came, they put their, their, their nets down straightway. We are not at a point where we, you know, putting our nets down straightway. We still have to teach. There's still information that has to be um, given, you could say. Even though... Me personally, I believe um, what Apostle Hart says that, you know, the elect 144 have been sealed. We still got to teach. We still got a job to do. All right. We still got to feed the sheep. Even though the, again, speaking as a man, and I do believe, man, that the elect may be sealed. Teach them now. You see? It says, uh, behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after I will send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks so our cha our job title is going to change dramatically coming up soon but we are still fishers of men at the moment all right now Yahweh Shai said feed my sheep Yahweh Shai matter of fact let me go to uh Luke 24 and 44 one of my favorite verses in Luke 
Luke 24 and 44, he say unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all these things must be fulfilled, which are written in the laws of Moses, and the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Correct. And the thing I want to focus on here says, What are written in the law of Moses? I did mention in the inception of this video that Yahweh Shai is not here right now. We have the job to take on. All right. He gave us the spirit to accomplish this deed or right, this feat. Okay. So going to the law of Moses, which again, this is a good script here. This is Deuteronomy 22nd chapter, starting at 1. It says, Thou shalt not see thy brother's ox or his sheep go astray. Right. Then not Yahweh Shai just speak to uh, Simon Peter, then feed my sheep if you love me. You see? So are you are you to let the sheep go astray? No. So you are have to be apt to teach, meaning skillful in teaching. Master the craft as best as possible while you still have the time. People are still learning. You still got the one third. All right? Feed the sheep while it's still day because night is coming. It says, and hide thyself from thee. All right? So I'm going to reread. Thou shalt not see thy brother's ox or sheep go astray and hide thyself from thee, from them. So like it. Meaning, you know, sometimes Jake said, I didn't see shit. Saw the whole thing go down and don't say nothing. That's not in our case. If we see a sheep, our potential, you know what I'm saying, we will teach. We will not let it go astray. Again, that's putting the blood off of our hands. You have to teach. It says, Thou shalt, in any case, bring them again unto thy brother. And right now, what? Our big brother is not here. But he's going to come back in an extravagant manner. And when he comes back, he's going to be ex expecting his sheep or his gifts. Which is primarily the elect 144. And we have to be the ones who have gathered them together and bring them. So we can present those gifts to Yahweh Shai when he comes back. Verse 2 says, If thy brother be not nigh unto thee, and is Yahweh Shai nigh to us right now? Through the Spirit, yes. But just speaking in a sense of actually here, no. He's in the spiritual realm. Okay? Is he walking this earth? No. All right? So right now, he's not nigh unto us. So therefore, we have to gather his sheep because we love because we love Yahweh Shai. All right? So continue to teach. It says, Or if thou know, uh, know him not, then thou shalt bring it unto thine own house. Right. There's something, the book of Ecclesiastes. The word Ecclesiastes means an assembly or a church. Whenever we go to the highways and byways, that is the church. That's the altar. And we persuade <laughs> men through fear. <laughs> Or just by the knowledge of what the truth is. Okay? And we bring them in. That's why you have men in prospective camps in each location across the, the globe. We bring them into the house. Alright? It says, and it shall be uh, with thee until thy brother seek after it. Correct. Until the Lord seeks after his gifts. Alright? We are to keep this law because this law is telling you, in a spiritual sense, teach. Tell them, uh, tell the elect about the truth. Wake them up. Keep them safe. You see? It says, and it shall be with thee until thy brother seek after it, and thou shall restore it to him again. Correct. We are to gather, get the fruit, and present the, for, uh, the fruits, the first fruits, to Yahweh Shai when he comes back. It's just like the law. When you present your first fruits, it's the same thing here. We gathering, we're trying our best to gather the elect, and we're going to prevent, uh, present Salakia, those first fruits, because that's what they are. The elect 144 are the first fruits. Okay? Verse 3 In like manner shall thou do with his ass, and shall also do with his raiment, and with all <clears throat> lost thing of thy brothers which he hath lost, and thou hast found. Shall thou do likewise, thou mayest. Uh, not hide thyself. All right. So you can't be like the individual in the parable of the talents and hiding it in a napkin. Okay. You know Yahweh Shai is an austere man. Uh, man. He told us to do these things and to teach. Okay. He told us to feed the sheep. 
That's what we ought to do. Simple. Plain as that. Master the art of teaching. Learn. There, I did a lesson a while back. I might uh, reiterate that lesson. Kind of do a refurbishing of it. But it was... I want to say... I don't think it was called the art of teaching. But pretty much know your students. Not every student is an auditor, auditor, auditory learner. Not every student is a verbal learner. Not every student is a kinesthetic learner. You have to learn... Your students, who you are under, okay, or who are under you. You have to, you can say, adapt to how individuals learn so they can grasp this information as good as possible. Now, I'm not saying bend over and do whatever. Well, I learn this way. At some points, it's like, hey, brother, you're going to have to goddamn get it <laughs> or not. Simple. But there are ways to teach. Master it, Okay. Master art of teaching. Learn your students. The elect 144, they each have a, a, a specific personality. One brother may learn how, how to do it hands-on. Okay? He might get a more grasping understanding, and really all of us, but I'm just saying as an example, of how to keep the law if he actually does it. Which, again, we should all be trying to strive to actually do the law, because that gives us the wisdom and the understanding of how to keep that law. <laughs> But in a sense, he might be hands-on, okay? He might want to learn how to cultivate, um, you know, the field. So, he, oh, brother, I want to grow some seed, and blah, blah, blah. You bring out the scripts on how to do so and how to deal with the field. And then show him. He might be hands-on. Another brother, you could just read the script and break it down, okay? The scriptures say what? That faith coming by hearing of the word, okay? So... You could just read it, break it down to him, and he gets it that way. Or a brother could be like, hey, you know, um, like the last example was auditory. And then the next brother is visual. Well, you actually do it and let him watch you. It's different techniques, but we have to master the art of teaching because we still have work to do. and We still have to be apt to teach. All right. So Lord willing, I put some fire on you to continue to be pushing these videos out every single day and continue to teach because what we're doing is not in vain at all, all right? Even though we get a, a view or two and then Esau, sorry ass, go ahead and put a strike on my 16 subscriber page, it's not in vain. <laughs> it's like, how'd you even find me? But in a sense, nothing we do is in vain because it's all in the spirit. People are watching. People are listening. So continue to teach and go hard. All right. So again, call Allah Yahweh by Shimmy Hawa Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Until next time, like always, Shalom.